But was Perry's memory lapse just an example of a brain freeze that happens to most of us every single day? Joining me now to explain why these memory lapses occur from Baltimore is Dr. Lee Vinegar, an emergency room physician, and from Los Angeles, Dr. Pat Patrick Lydon, the chair of the Department of Neurology at Cedar sinai Medical Center. Lee Vinegar, let me begin with you. Sure. Everybody has these. I have them. You have them. <laughs> Is it a result of aging or is something else at play? <laughs> I hope not. I spent uh, a half an hour today frantically searching for some jewelry that I don't remember where I put. No, it happens to all of us. We're busy. We don't concentrate. We're multitasking and we're doing a lot of things. And certainly in a situation where you're maybe campaigning, running all over the place, and then you're stressed out because you're in a debate and, you know, it, it could happen to anybody. Patrick it's just Leiden, pretty public. Patrick Lydon, let let's look at this neurologically. Is there some pathway that somehow becomes blocked or can you see a pattern in how this occurs in so many people? As I say everybody knows we've had these moments and Rick Perry unfortunately had a very embarrassing, very public moment, but it's so human to me. Absolutely. And what you have to understand is we store our language in one part of the brain and we use a different part of our brain to actually produce speech. So those two parts of the brain have to communicate to each other. And as we just heard, under conditions of stress or sleep deprivation or whatever, sometimes it's hard to, to connect the one part of the brain to the other, get the message, and produce the speech. We worry about patients who come to us and say it's happening more often, it's lasting longer, or it's becoming more severe. And then we start to worry about some underlying condition that may be the cause but once in a while for all of us it's a benign condition well Patrick let me ask you if for someone who's in public life to have this happen in that setting it seems damning uh, because in the case of Governor Perry he'd had some poor performances previously you suggest Lee Vinegar suggests stress could be part of it but we don't see other people doing it so why him and why now and is it part of a larger pattern given his poor debate performances well that's a that's a very important question and hopefully uh... you know any public speaker that begins to have more trouble thinks about whether they should consult a physician but you know just imagine if uh... you know you were in that type of a role made a mistake a few weeks ago and made another mistake and now pretty soon that stress is spiraling out of control and stress works on that connection that we were talking about stress reduces the ability of the brain to function so it's only natural that with the added spotlight and pressure that he's putting on himself as well as others are putting on him that this would happen again by the way Lee Vinegar I read today that sometimes for a public speaker anybody who's trying to remember something sometimes the way the brain works is you're going so quickly you skip something you go past right. it and then you all of a sudden you can't remember where you were or what you were t talking about right exactly I mean that's one of the things distraction interruption like how many times have we gone into a room thinking I have to get this and then you're thinking okay but I have to do this next this this and then you get to the room and you're like what was I coming here to get it's distraction it's how you encode and decode the information and pull it from your brain and stress releases stress hormones he's under the microscope people are making comments about him. releases stress hormones which can help imp you know impair the hippocampus okay. the part of the one, brain you remember. One last quick question for the two of you. Should people draw a negative judgment about Governor Perry and his ability as a leader on the basis of this brain freeze or is it just unfair? Lee? Well, uh, you know, I think at this point it's kind of unfair. Okay. Um, uh, but Patrick, what do you think? Well, as I said, if it happens uh, more often, it could be a sign right. of an underlying problem. Well, but I hear that. I heard that. Until that happens, um, Doctors, you know, it's a benign condition. Thank you very much. Straight ahead.